Okay, hello, Cancers. My Cancerians, how are you doing? I hope you guys are being blessed, having a blessed Sunday, enjoying the nice weather. You guys, this is your four in one reading. All right, and there's also two message readings. So do not click off after the reading, the four in one readings. There's four readings in one, okay? All right, because you may need to hear something in this message. It's very important. So stick around for the message reading as well, okay? All right, so new viewers, welcome. Thank you for stopping by checking out my channel. Um, sit back, enjoy this um, four in one reading. All right, I hope you gain some insight on what you need to see here. All right, stay, stay on, listen to the message read because it may be something to important you need to hear in the message reading all right that give you some some more insight on something you know confirm something that you may have been worrying about or thinking about all right so subscribe i'd love to have you guys as a subscriber don't forget to check out my description box below um click on that fish benefit site when you get a chance check that out okay all right all right if that website doesn't work Go to my channel and click on it, and it should take you straight to the website. So now let's get some cards to drop and we begin this form one reading. Okay, Cancer's energy. Cancer's energy. Cancer's energy. Okay, Cancer's energy. Okay, let me get that card. All right. Okay, so we have the Four of Cups, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. So your energy first up. We have the Five of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. We have the Ten of Wands, Sagittario, Aries energy. We have the Five of Cups, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. Um, the Six of Pentacles is here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. And then we have the moon card. This is you, Cancer. Cancer energy strong right here. Okay. All right. So the four of cups, somebody's coming in with an offer. Somebody's coming in to offer something to you. Somebody that you see is too needy. You may see this person as too attention needy, um, a beggar, like money. They, they're always wanting money from you. Um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Yeah, they're coming in with an offer. Okay. And so you already see seeing this person for who they are. All right. So you release this person. You release this burden. They were burdening you because all they wanted was they kept wanting. They were either attention needy or want money. Okay. Um, yeah. The Five of Cups is here. They miss you. This person is missing you. All right. You released it. You, you no longer were, uh, have this burden because you released it, but they miss you. They're coming back in. Okay, this person is wanting you coming back in for your attention, stability, and your time. Okay, they want all three this time. Okay, where before it may have been attention they wanted from you and the stability, but they're coming in for all three this time. All right, all right. Um, Hmm, there's some secrets. This person is coming in being very deceptive, hiding some things from you. Okay, so meaning deceptive, they're going to come in pretending like they want one thing. Like maybe they're going to come in expressing, oh, I love you. Uh, I miss you because I love you. I have these deep feelings for you. But in reality, they're really coming in for what you thought that they were there for, for money, for stability, for, uh, you know, attention. Okay, so you already you you left this person alone because they were too you know attention hungry, um, financial hungry, wanting your money. But they're gonna come in trying to cloud your intuition, so you need to use your intuition concerning this person, right? And you could have a lot of emotions for this person still, so they're gonna come in and try to play on your emotions if you if you still have those emotions for this person. Okay, so moving on, moving on. Okay, um, Cancer's energy. Cancer's energy. And I, I want to say one thing, and you can switch it how it resonates, okay? 
Um, it could be you and you could be offering this person something. And maybe they feel like you're too attention, honey. And you too, you know, maybe you don't have enough stability for this person. Something, you know. So, you know, switch it to our resonance. You guys know your story. All right. All right. So here, here you go again, Cancer. The chariot. First out in your reading. The chariot here. That's you, Cancer. Okay, the two of cups is here. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. Okay, um, we have the death card here. Scorpio energy. And we have the king of swords here. Libra energy. And we have the page of swords. Gemini energy. We have the nine of wands. Sag Leo, Aries energy. We have the eight of pentacles. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy and the three of Pentacles energy. More Earth Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. All right. So, yeah, somebody's coming in wanting to charge for it successfully with you. Okay. And they want a success at charging for it with you. All right. Um, they want a commitment. This person's coming in after a commitment. They feel like you're their soulmate. Okay, this could be another water sign, another cancer you're dealing with. Okay, um, in your energy, this could be another cancer. Okay, so they want a commitment, they want a commitment. It could be a Scorpio, you ended things with this person because this is a, a death card, Scorpio energy. So you could have ended things with this person in the past or them with you, but they want a commitment now, however, whichever way it went, somebody want to commit. Hey, they feel like you're they're divining in for you. They, they see that you're their soulmate. They feel like you're their soulmate. Um, this person could have went through some type of rebirth, some type of transformation, some change, just to get this commitment off the ground with you. So they're coming in for a new beginning. So they, they in other words, they've worked on their self. They've been working on their self. Something changed about this person. King of, King of Swords is here, Libra energy. So they could have Libra or some of you dealing with a Libra. They're standing their ground when it comes to you. Um, they may come into you expressing some truths, okay? All right, and to get you to let your guard down because you could have your guard up with this person. So they could come in and speak some truth to get you to let your guard down. This person is very possessed over you or you see this person as very derogatory. They may speak. It may have been a lot of arguing between you and this person or you see they argue too much. Um... They're very defensive, this person. Okay, so they, they, they're very defensive as well. Um, they're possessive over you. They watch you very closely. This person could be riding by your house, watching you on social media. Um, they're envy of something. They could be angry. This person could be angry or have anger issues, or you see them as having such. They could be younger than you as well. You can see this person is very immature. Um, they could be gossiping about you, something that you've done to them. Or you could see this person, or you could feel like they gossip too much. This person could have taken you through a, a, a struggle, a physical, mental struggle. Um, or they know that it's going to be a physical or mental struggle to reveal stability with you. Or this is just what they put you through. All right. And they're coming in, even though they put you through a mental and physical struggle, they're still coming in wanting to rebuild stability with you, okay? They're going to work hard at trying to um, be able to rebuild this stability with you. They're coming in wanting to work on a partnership of stability. This is what this person is coming in for, okay? They want to work on a partnership of stability. They're, they're coming in. They're going to work hard at trying to rebuild this stability with you, even though they put you through a mental and physical struggle. All right? All right. So moving on. A Cancer's energy. Show me Cancer's energy. More of Cancer's energies, please. More of Cancer's energy. Oh, does somebody excite you, or you excite somebody? Um, we have the Queen of Pentacles here. Taurus energy. Okay, we have the Two of Pentacles here. More Earth energy. Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy here. Okay, right? We have the Ace of Swords here, Gemini Libra Aquarius energies. We have the Ace of Pentacles here, Earth, strong Earth here, Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Um, we have Page of Cups. We have a Pisces energy here, Pisces. 
And we have the Hierophant here. Taurus. So yes, very yes indeed. Very strong Taurus. Um, strength card, Leo here, Leo's energy. And then we have Ace of Cups, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy, water energy. Okay. Um, somebody finds you highly attractive, beautiful. They love the way you dress. It, it may feel like it, um, you, you're very discreet. Okay. So you may be very secretive in what you do. You know, you may be one way in public, but another way in, in your home, in your secret self, you know, between you and this person. They love that about you or vice versa. You guys have to switch it to how it re resonates, okay? They see you very stable, strong, secure within yourself. Um, they may see you very nurturing as a very nurturing person, or maybe this is how you make them feel. You may make this person feel very secure within themselves. Um, you may make them feel very stable. Um yeah you may be very nurturing to this person like you may give them stability to help this person be stable you know and this has them wanting st stability with you all right they're juggling all kind of ideas on how to get the stability off the ground with you all right they're trying to gain clarity on how to go about doing doing this okay so they're working on getting clarity they're trying to get clarity on how to get a successful new beginning of off the ground with you and it's here it's side by side so this is strong this person is really working on this ace of pentacles is here so they really want to be successful at getting stability with you all right um you may be in communication with this person online through text through phone all right or there's some communication going to come about to you from this person it's a yes all right, about marriage, hair fine. This person has intentions of marrying you. This person wants marriage. They're seeking marriage. This person could even want to have your child or you could already have a child with this person. Um, this person may see you as being very wise or you could see this person as being very wise for their age. They could be younger than you. All right. Oh, goodness. This person, you could only see this person as a friend and they want more from you. Or this is all somebody wants is a friendship and nothing more where somebody wants marriage. Um, there may be some boundaries that need to be set. Some Something needs to be spoken. Say what you mean, mean what you say in this situation to this person. Maybe you only see this person as a friend and they want more. But they're not understanding that. You need to say what you mean, mean what you say to this person. Set boundaries. Set boundaries on this person, okay? Um... This person could have mental issues. You might start seeing that something is mentally wrong with this person. Okay, if you have to make them feel stable, you know, secure within themselves, yeah, they have some type of mental issues, okay? But there's some communication needed between you and this person. All right, and this person is coming in wanting to heal things with you. All right, um, somebody might want some forgiveness. Maybe somebody did something to someone and somebody's needing to forgive someone. All right, um, you're this person's fulfillment. You're this person's fulfillment, okay? They see you as their everything. You got everything they want and need in a person. This is why they want to be with you, okay? Like I said, this person, you made this person feel, I think it's you, you made this person feel secure, able within themselves okay you may have did things for this person right you were very nurturing to this person maybe maybe it's both of you feel nurturing to each other okay all right moving on that's what i have in that reading um cancer's energy show me more of cancer's energies mm, cancer you coming out in all your reasons cancer's energy mm, something's all, all of a sudden gonna drop in your lap it's going to be a lot that drops in your lap. It's going to maybe be too much for you to bear. You're going to feel like it's too much for you to bear. It's going to come at one time. Look at that. I'm going to keep these cards. I'm going to keep them because they keep coming out. They came out all together at one time. So I'm going to keep it. All right. So first card out in your reading, you, Cancer Energy. So you're strong in every last one of your readings. All right. The Magician is here, Aries Energy. Um, the Ace of Wands, Sag Leo Aries energy. Um, 
the tower is here. Okay, there's a tower. Um, Eight of Cups is here. Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer energy. The King of Wands is here. Aries energy. Strong Aries here. Strong Aries. The High Priestess is here. Virgo or Pisces energy. This one's going to be a, a good long one. Um, the Four of Swords is here. Okay, we have the sword, four of swords here. Um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energies. Uh, we have the page of wands, Aries. There we go. The full card, Aries. So this is a very strong Aries. Uh, the knight of pentacles is here. Virgo energy. Strong Virgo. Uh, we have the seven of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energies. And we have the Page of Pentacles, more Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. So strong Earth here as well. All right. So let's see what's going on in this story. Somebody, somebody has a lot of emotions, or somebody's needing affections, um, um, or coming in to offer you affections, offer you emotions. This person is manifesting you. All right, either mentally or they're using some kind of magic love spells to manifest what they want with you. Maybe this is somebody you, you've been affectionate with, you've been emotional with, you have emotions for this person. Um, or all you want is affectionate. It could be a thing where all you want is affection from this person, like something intimate, sexual, and they're manifesting you they want more maybe they're manifesting more from you more than what you're giving them the magician is here and they're trying to either use their mental or magic some kind of love spell to get what they want more from you than affections more than emotions okay or maybe you hide your emotions from this person or you you don't give them no emotions you just giving them straight affection sexual something sexual slam out intimate and they want more. So they're gonna they're trying to manifest more from you because they do hold a lot of passion for you. They like the the the, the sexual part. They want a uh passionate new beginning. So they do hold a lot of passion for you and they want a passionate new beginning with you. But there's a tower here. So maybe you went through a tower moment from this person with this person. They walked away from you, or you walked away from them. You could have walked away from the, this person, maybe because they were asking for too much, and the only you wanted to give was the uh, affection, and they wanted more. Yeah, they loved the passion, they loved it, they wanted passion to do beginning with you, but they wanted more than that. Or maybe this is you. Yes, you hold a lot of passion for for this person, and you wouldn't mind having a passionate new beginning, but that's all you want. That's all you want is the passion, the 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 intimacy. But they want more. They're trying to manifest more. So this caused a tower moment between you guys. You walked away from the situation. But they're still trying to hold on to you. This Aries. Aries energy. They're still holding on to you. Um, you innerly satisfied them with that intimacy, that, that sexual. It was it was the bomb to this person. So they hold on. Okay. All right. Um this is something. The high priestess is here. There's some secrets. Or this person is, is like I said, they're using because the, the, magi the magician is here and the high priestess is here. So this person could be seeking a high priestess to help. To help um, doing some magic to get what they want with you. This person could be putting some type of black magic on you. If you're not well, because we have... Um, we have the four swords here. This this high priestess is Virgo Pisces energy, okay? So um, we have the magician and we have the high priestess on the board here. So this person, yes, they could be um, they could be a high priestess. Maybe you didn't know it. They could have been hiding this from you. This person could have been a high priestess. And this person has put some magic on you to make you sick. So if you're not well, you need to be careful and um because the four swords is here. 
Okay, and it could be too to heal things with you, but if you're not well, this person could have been putting some magic to hint to make you sick or something to hinder your health because they're not getting what they want with you. You're not giving this person what they want, so they're spewing some magic on you. So be careful. Um, this person is very childish, immature. Page of swords, page of wands. The communi you could see the communication between you and them is immature as well, the way they communicate with you. This person could have a lot on their plate as well. So maybe that's what they wanted. Maybe they wanted more like money from you because they have a lot on their plate. But the communication is coming in from this. It could be some communication coming in from this person. Them telling you they want another chance, another go at it with you. Um, they're planning, strategizing. Um, so this could come in slow because they're planning, strategizing on what to offer you to get you to accept their offer of another chance. Okay. So it could take some time for this person to come in or they've been planning this for a long time. And it's not much that they have to offer you that they can offer you. So it's just something to get something off the ground with you. And it could be affections that they come in offering you because that's where it was good at. They know that you, you know, maybe you love to get that from this person. Um, the Seven of Pentacles is here. Earth energy. Of Virgo Capricorn. They're looking at all type of options. They're inner reflecting. They're thinking on what to offer you. To get a new beginning of growth off the ground with you, Cancer. So be careful because this person is a manifester. They, they they know the tools. Look, they have all the tools to do whatever spells they want to do and work those spells. So if you're not feeling good, um, think that this person is putting some, some spells on you. You might already be your intuition. This is also the card of intuition as well. So if your intuition is telling you that this person is making you sick, yes, they are. This person is a, a high priestess, a manifester, a spell worker. They know they know how to work those spells. So if your your intuition is showing you that somebody's putting spell work on you to make you sick, they are. You're needing to heal, uh, or this card is gonna is telling you that you're gonna heal. Okay, yeah, they it, it may not be strong enough to keep you. At a, a, a place where you're ill but if you've been feeling ill yes it's telling you this person is doing this to you but it's also the card of healing so you will heal with prayer pray you need to pray a healing on yourself or you may need to get somebody to pray over you you know to get rid of the spell that this person has spun on you to cause you to be sick all right that's what I have. Oh, whoever this is, please get somebody to help you in this situation. Um, all right, so um, I'm moving on to messages. We're going to see what messages you have, you guys. Um, show us messages you have for cancers. Show us messages that you have for cancers, please. Okay. Okay, there they go. Okay, so you guys got five cards. Okay, so we have... Um, <clears throat> the garden. Okay. And that's um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, air energy. Okay. Then we have the anchor here. All right. That's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. We have the boat. More Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. Um, We have heart. Heart is here. That is water energy. That's your energy. Okay. I see Scorpio um, Cancer energy. Then we have best friend here. More air. I mean, more water. Pisces Scorpio Cancer energy. The best, the dog. I'm sorry. This is dog. The dog's best friend. But this is dog here. Okay. And then... We have clouds. And that one is fire, Sag Leo Aries energy. Okay, so somebody um somebody feels like you are networking. Or there's something that you need to do. Maybe you need to network. 
um, get out, meet new people, or somebody feels like you're doing this, networking, meeting people online, um, like speed dating. Okay, somebody's not trusting somebody here, air sign. Or this is somebody you are networking with. You might be networking with somebody online through text message, through phone. It's not going nowhere. That's not going to go nowhere. That's what you're being told. Anchors here. That's not going nowhere with that person. It's not going to move forward. Um, it's going slow. That's why things are going slow. That somebody's not trying to move forward. Vote is here. You need to use your intuition um, to see something. There's something you need to see. Vote. Yeah, you need to use your intuition to, to show you why it's not going nowhere with this person. Um, you may be in love with this person or see this person as your soulmate. Or this person could be in love with someone else. Because this is water sign. Okay, this person may be in love with someone else. Um, they may only see you as a friend. This person may only see you as a friend, but you may be in love with this person, but they only see you as a friend. Your intuition is clouded. Something has your intuition clouded. You need to, you know, this person, yeah, they're in love with somebody else. They may already have a divine partner, a soulmate partner that they're, they're in love with. And they only see you as a friend. Okay. So you're told your intuition is clouded. Or maybe this person is clouding your intuition just to keep you around. And you need to see what you need to see concerning this person. All right. Okay. So let's get some more. One more message. Show us messages that you have for cancer. Show us messages that you have for cancer. Okay. I think that's it. Show us messages. Nothing else is coming out, so I'm going to have to take those messages to Jeff and Karen. All right, so this is all. Okay, so we have a mature woman here. We have poverty here. We have main female here. And we have change here. I see this where it's going already. So you may be dealing with someone that you see as very nurturing, um, very stable, very secure within themselves. Um, very, you, you may love the way this person dress. You may love the way this per person carries themselves. They could be very discreet in how they carry themselves. And you like that about this person. Um, they could be very nurturing to you. This mature woman, you see them very mature. Okay, but actually, this person is in poverty. This person is, is struggling. This person is going through a struggle. Okay, and they could be telling you they want you to they want to be your main person, your main female. That they want you to move in with them. That's why, because they're going through some struggles, financial struggles. Okay, poverty. So that is what you're being told. Somebody wants you to move in with them. Okay, they want you to move away from a situation. Maybe you already have a main female and they want you to leave that person to be with them because they're going through a struggle financially. They are struggling, but they appear to you to have it, everything to be stable. They're hiding some things from you. They don't really, they're not really stable. They just appear to be. So be careful. All right, that's for somebody. All right. So like, share, hit the notification button to be notified when I post a video. Um, new viewers, subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. I hope you gain some insight on something you need to see um, or hear. Um, again, subscribe. Also, check out the Fitz Benefits site below um, whenever you get a chance. And I hope I can help everyone. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy your Sunday. And continue to be blessed. I love you guys. All right. Subscribe. Like, share.